not know about the popular pants option. Yeah. It all started back in 1873 when Levi Strauss created the, the denim or the blue jean. In fact, the name jean comes from the city of Genoa in Italy, where they make a cotton corduroy that's also called jean or genie. And now you know. Use that in your next discussion around the water cooler. All right, here's five things that you also probably did not know about the blue jeans as we celebrate National Blue Jean Day this week. All right, first thing we want to talk about, the very unique characteristics about blue jeans and the rivets are one of the most unique aspects, okay? The rivets were put in to strengthen the pockets, but then after a while, and you probably experienced this too, folks were complaining that the rivets on the back pocket were scratching up chairs, scratching up their saddles, so eventually they got rid of all the rivets on the back pocket, so you will not sit down and ruin anything in your home anymore with those rivets on the back of those jeans, but they were there to strengthen the pockets. Number two, the zippers. So when they first started with the uh, Levi's here in the country in blue jeans, uh, they were for factory workers, and the zippers were in the middle like they normally are now. But for women, when they made the jeans, the zipper was on the side. Hmm. That's to distinguish between the two different types of pants. Now, of course, the zipper's all in the same place. But that's how they first started out. And then number three, everybody wants some. In fact, they found out that every single American has, on average, seven pairs of blue jeans. <laughs> and more than 450 million pairs were sold in the United States alone just last year. 450 million pair of blue jeans, and everyone has at least seven. I know I have seven, but I don't wear any longer because I uh, <laughs> transitioned to something else. All right, number four, soldiers. It was the soldiers of the U.S. Army that made them sexy. See, after World War II, all the soldiers would wear the blue jeans on their days off or when they were off work. And then people in other countries saw that and said, hey, we want those. Those are comfortable and they're durable. And then jeans just absolutely went crazy and everybody wanted them from that point on. So World War II soldiers made everybody want to wear blue jeans. And the last thing, here's the fashion trend begins. All right, you see there's a pair of jeans coming out the washer. All right, I'm going to take you back to the 60s. Okay. All right, in the, the East Village in New York, there's a guy named Marty Friedman. He had a store called Limbo and they had a lot of hippies that were their clientele. Well, the hippies would always come in and buy used Levi and they loved them. Well, he ran out of used Levi's, so he took a box of Lee jeans <laughs> and washed them <laughs> and then sold them to his clientele. But then get this, he didn't stop there. He realized, okay, they loved the distressed jeans. And then he started having some of his hippie clientele paint patches or sew patches over get the spots. out of here. And then he turned around and sold those for 200 plus dollars. <laughs> That's where everything started with That's all of the distressed and decorated blue jeans that are used that you could probably get anywhere for $20, <laughs> but they jizzed them up, turning around selling to you for 200 bucks. Now it's even more than that. That's how the whole thing started. That's five things you probably did not know about blue jeans as we celebrate National Blue Jean Day this week. To find out more, go to GoodDaySacramento.com. Click on Show Info for today's date. Man up for knowing everything about the clothes on your body. Good Day continues after this.